Hello YouTube and welcome to episode 1 of Storyteller Plays, Swords and Magic and Stuff. Longtime viewers to my channel, which is probably about two of you, might remember in September of 2020, I did an episode, or a video rather, it was a tutorial, on 1.0.17, because there was a cool staff called the Chaos Staff that you just could not get if you did certain things. And a lot has changed since then. We're now on update uh, 1.4.16, so... The devs have been busy. Welcome back! This update isn't the combat update that you are all waiting for, but it does contain a handful of smaller systems and features we've been putting off for a while. You could consider this our Quality of Life 2.0 update. Check the patch notes on Steam to learn all about the cool stuff added and updated in this uh, build. And be sure to stop by Quincy's place in Hope Harbor. He's got something to show you. Who the hell is Quincy? Well, I know where Hope Harbor is, so we'll have to find him. Ah, uh, thanks for our support through early access. That icon represents that it's not complete, and seizure warning this game sometimes has bright lights or flashing colors that could cause seizures. Uh, proceed with caution. Now we're going to play as a Satu Poetica. This is my main character from 2020. I've stolen most of their things. I don't know why they're wearing a dress. It seems to be the default. Uh, but here is uh, who we'll be playing as. Let's go. And here we are in the room that I rented at the inn because I just skipped the tutorial. I figured... I figured that because so much has changed in the last almost two years, the best way to do this would be to plop into the game and then just look for adventure. Like, there's this notebook on my, uh... What is this? I guess it's more of a dresser than a end table. Ghost of the Waterfall by Unknown Author. Some say the spectre only appears on moonless nights. Others say the moon must be bright as the sun itself. But the one thing everyone agrees on is that some nights you can see the shimmer of a ghostly spirit sitting atop of the Azurian waterfall. None have ever reported the ghost being dangerous. It begs the question, why is the ghost here? I was kind of hoping that would start a quest. What time is it? Well, it's like 6 p.m. Well, it's 5 p.m. I don't know why I rounded up by a solid, uh, 52 minutes. So I don't see why not. Also, arachnophobia warning. My mount is a giant spider. Let's get to the top of the waterfall and see if we can't find a ghost. Alternatively, I did accidentally pick up a quest, despite the fact that I was trying not to. So we could just do that. It might be worth picking up, just because. There's got to be something cool in somewhere called the Ice Cave. I'm going to go ahead and just skip to uh, the top of the waterfall, because it's a pretty long walk, even moving as quickly as I am. Wait a minute, scratch that. I was taking a sip of my energy drink, and I found a ladder. Well, actually, it started the quest, and that's how I figured out there was a quest here. Oh, Captain, my Captain! Oh, Captain, my Captain! James, oh, Captain James! How could you forget me? I long to reunite, but I'm afraid you don't remember me. We sailed the seas, we saw the world, we went on grand adventures. After you went overboard, I thought that you were lost. Seeing you now, devoid of the memories we made. Uh, maybe you were lost after all. I'll always hold you in my heart, my sweet James, from Irma. I don't know who that is either, but we're going to speak to Irma. I suppose I'll continue to try to get to the top of that waterfall. Rat. Ow. I don't know off the top of my head who Irma is, though, so I'm just going to continue to the waterfall to see if there is actually any substance to that notebook. So, here we are at the top of the waterfall. And I don't know if 8pm quite counts as nighttime. I'm seeing a lot of stars, so surely it does. Are you a ghost by chance? So what do you suppose those do? Good question. Have you wondered who built them, and why they keep pouring out water forever? I haven't. I mean, where does it all come from? Do you think it's magic? That would explain it. I bet Eben knows. Too bad he went back to his tower. He's real smart. Eben? Yeah, that old mage guy. You know. He was uh, here studying those weird crystals, the bluish-green ones. But he had to leave, and he hasn't come back yet. When he comes back, I'm going to ask him where all this water comes from. He's gotta know. He's like the smartest person in Tyrowin. Uh, where can I find Evan? Oh, he lives in that really tall tower. My mom 
Er, my mom brought me to the whis uh, windless woods once to see it. Well, if it's in the windless woods, then I can't see it. Hopefully, the windless woods are part of the next update, but I don't know if they will be. A new zone to explore would be nice, although I'm going to try to do all of the quests in this area before we get to that. Okay, one more quick sweep of this area looking for a ghost. Whoop. Come on. The appeal of the spider mount is that it jumps so high. Also, I just really like spiders. I understand a good amount of people aren't going to. Mm, but you can't please everyone. Wait a minute, now I see a green glow. Mm, just appears to be that ore, though. Whoop. Okay, so surely that's not what they were talking about by a ghost. Well, what's this? That just looks like it might be an ore node as well. Yeah, that's just ore. Ow. I do know there's something in the waterfall, but I don't think it's uh, implemented. Nope. Notes of the Archmage, er, notes on the Archmage, not of the Archmage. Uh, the ruins seem to be locked up tight. The only way to power those doors is with the synthetic shards that the Archmage was creating. It's unfortunate that uh, the last thing, or the last remaining shards could be possibly, or could possibly be locked within the ruins. Our words, good. I don't know where I learned how to read. Clearly, whoever taught me did a pretty shit job. It's rather unfortunate. The only synthetic shard I had in my possession was destroyed during my experiments. After a fair bit of research... Sorry, I'm fiddling with the left analog stick. Uh, on the doors, I've decided that there's a small possibility of reconstructing my own version of the synthetic shard. Not to the magnitude of the Archmage, of course, but possibly enough to open the door. I must return to my tower for supply supplies, however. My apprentice, Bryn, shall look after my research while I am gone. I trust he won't run off and leave our things unattended again. Well, Bryn's not here, so I'm going to put money on that's what happened. On that note, I'm kind of disappointed there's not a ghost up here. Also, I should probably zoom the camera in so that we disappear underwater slightly less. Go ahead and re-equip my scythe. Yes. Gotta do some cooking. Also, if you're curious as to what those blue-green crystals that uh, Eben was experimenting with, I've actually done that off-camera, which is something I'm trying to avoid doing. Basically, the only thing inside of there is a uh, quiver. Hello. And some archery, um... What's it? They call it an amulet? No, it's more of like a circlet. Ow. Rude. Okay, so let's see if I can't get up onto, to up onto the top of that tower. And that one there. I could use my weird wind machines, but if something here would want to kill me, that'll get me up there quite a bit faster. Hello there. Yep, there was a rat around. Also, I keep getting these life, uh... These life staves. They don't sell very well. Mm, but then again, I guess they are in regular old, uh, chests. Okay, rat. Kill me, I'm probably worth a ton of EXP. Any day now, rat. Come on. You can do this, I believe in you. Keep going. Like, even the rat's bored with this situation. Come on, one more like that'll do it. And I'm a ghost. Spooky. Okay, so. Yep, just gotta uh, glide up here. Let me just rob the guy. Uh, Lord Styxian. I'm going to guess that's how you pronunciate that. Uh, by Serpent Seal Prophet. He will come in a fiery wrath. The Snake Lord of Tyrowin, the true ruler. Once we construct the three serpent shrines, we will begin the summoning ritual in the heart of Bone Reach. I don't know where that is, so probably nothing you can actually do yet anyway. Uh, the shrines must be carved from ritual stone, and two, er, two 
shard gems must be placed for the eyes. These shard gems are the key to resurrecting Lord Styxian. You had a single moonberry in your chest? Hello! Ah, have you felt the cold kiss of the serpent as well? Yes. I knew I could smell serpent on you. How are your travels, fellow mage? Uh, have you been sent to assist me on the construction of the serpent shrines? Yes, brother. Well, I need I only need to activate the shrine now. I've, se I've spent several days constructing it. Uh, over here. Or here, over the spirit anchor. Since you don't seem to don the dark wizard's hat of the serpents, if you help me, I will give you my novice hat. Simply bring me 30 cubic sources. That's a lot of them. Uh, that should be plenty of shard energy to prepare the shrine. Yes, brother. Now, bring me 30 cubic sources. That is a lot. I have... 71! Here, I got you your cubes. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yes, this will do nicely. Here is your reward, Initiate. Your service to the Serpent Seal does not go without notice. I will send word to the Elder Serpents and let them know of your loyalty to Styxian and the Seal. If you happen to come across any members of the Serpent... other members of the Serpent Seal on your, the mainland, be sure to assist them. Styxian will rise again. I don't usually like mage hats, but let's check it out. If it didn't make my hair so short, I'd probably consider it. There we go. Almost rolled off the cliff. But yeah, so the way these work... Wrong button. Wrong item. Is that you shoot all five of them, and then a door opens up. But I've already done that. If you want to know the five locations, there's one there. You can see one over there, just in the distance. There's one hovering right above the door. And then there are two on this side of the mountain, leading to a ramshackle reef. Which is actually where we're going next. Because now that I've got a silly hat I'm not going to wear... Whoop. I suppose we should do the ice cave. Or find out who Irma is. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it from here. I suppose there's no harm in trying to get closer. Yeah, so you can see that one right there, next to the ship. And then the last one is just hovering out here, over the cliffside. So if you can get to all five within a day, you can open up that door. Where is it? There it is. My glider's kind of blocking it, but you can see it floating there. Yep, just hit all five in a day, you get a quiver, which increases your arrow recovery. And then it just counts as a backpack, so of course it increases your carry weight and gives you an additional two pockets. Which is the same number of pockets that this book of holding I have gives me. And this book of holding was hard as hell to get, so the quiver is probably your best bet. Released early on. I like how I'm rambling. I do and do not know what I'm doing. I'm kind of exhausted, but it's summer, so I've not, not been exhausted for about a month and a half now. It's unfortunate. Thank you. Those upgrade shards are pretty useful. I just don't use them. I think I've got a couple. I've got 20. I thought I had a blue one, but I must have put that in storage. So it's not important. What we are here to do is come up here to the shop. Well, actually, those are the shops. I'm coming to this place here called The Reef. Also, I managed to get through the door just before it spawned in. Anyway, I'm spidering up, so uh, if you have spider spider phobia, look away. Just barely can't make those jumps. Mm, I shouldn't have the spider yet, and I'm starting to think that I'm too stupid to ever actually use the spider effectively. Okay, here we are. I just have to make it the rest of the way without falling hilariously. Whoop. Ooh, a chest. Yeah, I get a lot of gear that you can just sell. There's also a collections system that's pretty handy. Ooh, another chest. Can never have enough cubic sources. And just roll through there. So I came in here while I was not recording because I was just trying to mine. 
And like, there's a lot of ore in here, so... I was correct that this is a good place to do it. But as soon as you enter this room, you get a quest called, if I can open the correct thing, The Ice Cave. Find someone that knew Lur uh, Lorena. I'm going to guess that's how that name is pronounced. We've all established here that I'm stupid. To uh, Lorena. Uh, Lorena, I can't wait to come visit. It feels like you've been there on Azora for ages, and I'm missing seeing you around the college. When I get there, I plan on staying in Ramshackle Reef. I think it's close to the dig site, so it shouldn't be too much of a trek each day. Did you have any luck in the volcanic caves? Archmage, uh, really, his name is Tidby. Archmage Tidby told me about how uh, improbable it is that the molten golem could actually exist. But I still believe. How could someone as smart as you be wrong? See you soon, Roderick. Now I do actually know who Roderick is. Let's continue to snoop, though. Uh, Lorena's journal. By Lorena. No sir. Uh, no shit. It's so cold in here. The large magic ice shards are so cold, you can't even get near them without immediately getting frostbitten. Or without immediately getting frostbite. I'm adding letters here. I'm not giving up, though. I know whatever's in that chest is going to be worth the effort. It has to be. I've tried torches, flaming arrows, even ember shards. Nothing can melt this ice. They seem to be growing smaller crystal shards around them. I've broken some with my pick. I bet they could. Uh, I bet I could use the shards for something. They're not as cold as the bigger crystals. I need something hotter if I want to get through this ice magic or er, this magic ice, or maybe some sort of magic fire. The, uh, but the worst part is that I can see the chest in the ice is locked with some sort of magical lock. So even if I get through. Where, uh, where do I go next? I don't suppose I've got a magic staff with fire, do I? No, I've just got three healing staffs, like some kind of weirdo. But our only lead right now is Roderick, who is a character that I kind of ignored. Mm, but he's one of the NPCs that has been in this game since 2020, so... I know who that is. I also know the magic ruins are, which is probably a pretty good hint as well. Let's go! Okay, so Roderick is this guy down here. Assuming things haven't changed, I can also trade him some of these weird cubic sources. What's up with all these mages and just having wind... Uh, what are these things called? Uh, moonberries on them. Also, this rat wants to throw hands. Mm, thank you for your silverware. Hello there, Roderick! Oh, oh, hello, I'm Roderick, novice mage and adventurer extraordinaire. Do you know a L uh, Lorena? Oh, you found her journal, did you? I haven't spoken to her in ages. She used to be with the college, just like me. She's always had an interest in arcane magic, namely the elements. All magic is... all, all, all our arcane magic is elements, because then there's just chaos. Anyway, I suppose she must have found something interesting in that cave if she camped out there. I guess so. I visited her once while she was staying here on Azora. She was here so often searching for relics, she had her own private room at the inn in Ramshackle. If you're interested in her work, you could ask around there. Maybe someone in Ramshackle Reef remembers her. Thanks. No problems, and good luck. Hello again, Satu. Do you have time to help me out with some cubic sources? I sure do. Oh really, that's great. Just search around any of these marble ruins and uh, you should be able to find some. Keep a sharp eye, they could be under piles of dirt. So I already have those. Here you go. And I got a fire staff. Uh, I won't be needing this old staff anymore. You can have it. Thanks. All right, now let's see if I can put the relic... Or er, I can get this relic charged up so we can see what it does. Oh, wow. It's almost vibrating with power. What does it do? Oh, uh, don't worry about it. It's kind of advanced. Good luck with the rest of your adventures, friend. Did this guy just have us power his vibrator? This game is very progressive. Okay. Um. I, I read that entire conversation, but I didn't process any of it. Let's go ahead and the ice cave. Godric informed me that often when she was young, Ramshackle Reef at the inn. Got it. It's a good thing there's a journal here, because my brain is stupid. And I suppose we just uh, cut to once we're back in Ramshackle Reef. So it's been a while since I've sat down and played around in this town or island for real. In fact, I made a new character so that I could just explore Azura more thoroughly. 
But I remember the inn is probably that building up there. Oh, they're, they're just metal struts. There is a wanted poster I want to find before I go off and do a thing that I've already played around with on my other character. Hmm. Say there, Buccaneer, are you looking for a room? Only ten gold. Do you know a Lierna? Lernia? Lerina? That's a name I haven't heard in a while, but yes, I do. She hasn't been around here in quite some time. I should probably clean out her room so I can rent it out, in case we get ever get busy around here again, that is. Can I take a look? Heh. Well, that wouldn't be very innkeeper of me, now would it? I can't just let people into other um into our guests' rooms. It's important. How important, eh? What do you want? Uh, my better half's been bothering me about uh, bothering me about getting her a new necklace, and I don't have the time to do the plundering like I used to. She really loves pearls. Maybe if you bring me three shiny new pearls, I could part with the, this here room key. I apparently also already have three pearls. So you do! Give them here. And here's the key to uh, Lorena's room. It's upstairs at the end of the hall. Wow, my literacy is screwing me up. 18. I had 21 pearls? This is starting to look like I've staged it. Nope, that is not a room. That is a balcony. Let's see here. Frost Seals. Uh, by Scholar Jandon. Jandon? That's just... I don't know. A Frost Seal is an arcane mage's best friend. Many ancient mages used these large ice shards to protect their most precious artifacts. Summoned from enchanted frost shards, these seals are so cold they can cause instant frostbite. The seals, freezing everything uh, centered between them in a block of solid enchanted ice. The only way to unfreeze the block is to destroy each and every seal. It is unfortunate that these seals do have a weakness, and any mage worth her salt would know what it is. Oh, you know, fire magic. Uh, to Lorena. Hey, Lorena, you were right. The archaeologists uh, cleared out the... Uh, you're right, the archaeologists cleared out the ruins last month. No sign of the key, but I know where it is. I took it upon myself to forge a document of transfer for the key. I'm sure bringing it to the high archaeologist would do the trick. I still owe you for the lava incident, so meet me and uh, Fiora for dinner. I'm very blind. My apologies. And I'll give you the document. Uh, she's been looking for an excuse to use those healing herbs anyway. She's really getting into plants lately. Marco. Find Fiora. That is not a name I recognize. But there are botanists. One moment, I gotta break this. Nothing. It, I'm looking for adventure, so I should probably just look around. Uh, there is a botanist in the starting Hope Harbor. Nothing. Also, we gotta find out who the hell Quincy is. Because Quincy's got something to show us. Now I'm gonna walk all the way back to Hope Harbor. But which I mean I'm going to uh, log out and log back in. Don't tell anyone. Wowie zowie, I got here so quickly that I ended up in my bed. Anyway. Do we know who Quincy is? I said visit Quincy's house, so presumably it's somebody with a home. Let me go ahead and just spider up. Are you Quincy? This is Quincy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Can't you see I'm dancing here? If you want to chat, you'll have to stand back a bit. One moment, let me enter first person. Now can I chat to you? Do I have to watch? Wow, are you here for dance lessons? Sure am! Oh heck yeah! Well, let's get started then. First, you just have to move like this. Oh yeah, Ellipsis is right. Yeah, you can do it! Next, you gotta do one of these. Ellipsis once more. Okay, okay, not bad. Quincy, I don't know if- I don't know what you think is going on here. Then you just finished up with one of these bad boys. Ellipsis. Yes, you're getting it. My character is also very done with what's going on. All right, I think you've got it mastered. Try it out. Show me your moves. I learned how to break dance. How? 
One moment, I get out of first person. Pray tell, do I do that? Is it joking? Let me see here. Reputation, skills, collections, tutorials. Basic movement, interaction. Uh, anchor shrines. Well, it said I learned how to break dance, but I don't think that's true. I don't know, I'll toy with it. Real quick, where is the botanist? Oh, not what I wanted to do. I'm playing with a uh, gamepad. Hello, is there a botanist around here? This certainly looks like the botanist's house. Are you Fiora? No. Um... You on the bench, are you Fiora? Yes! Also, you're an herbalist, not a botanist. My mistake. Also, we're standing... We're standing a little too close. Hi there, I'm Fiora. I'm the herbalist here on Azora. It's nice to meet you. Can I help you with anything? Do you know a Lorena? Oh my, I haven't heard that name in a long time. Lorena was a very close friend of mine and my husband, uh, Marco. She used to come visit us quite often until what happened. Well, Marco was trying to find her or help her find a special artifact she'd been searching for. He sometimes took his work a bit too far. She was supposed to meet us for dinner to pick up some documents he prepared for her, but she never showed up. Why not? I wish I knew. Marco thought that she was in over her head with some powerful people from the Mages College. When she didn't show up, he couldn't just sit there. He had to try to help. So he left to find her the next day and never returned. Where did he go? Lorena talked about a friend she had in the desert. Well, there is no desert in the game, so that's probably also nothing we can do yet. He was going to meet with him there. It was a long time ago. It was so long ago, though. Why are you asking about Lorena, though? Are you a friend of hers? I'm looking for the key. I see. Well, I can't help you there, but I could give you the documents Marco was supposed to give to Lorena. Maybe it'll help. That'd be great, thanks. It's around here somewhere. Ellipsis. Ah, here it is. I can't believe I still have it after all this time. Just on your person. Find the frozen key. Now, there's no archaeologists guild in the game, but the archaeologists are doing a dig. So let us do that, and then I suppose I'll call it an episode. I want to keep. I want to keep these kind of short, and just do a handful of quests. Actually, no, scratch that. I'm going to find out what's in that stupid ice chest, and then we're going to see if we can't find Irma. Are you Irma? No, that's Helen. There's got to be an Irma. Are you Irma? No, that's a uh, Ibis. Ibis. I'm just gonna call her Bin Chicken. But yeah, no, I was just drinking my energy drink. And I got stuck over here, and there's a ladder just sticking out of the grass. Let us continue. Here's the archaeologists. Unfortunately, when playing with a gamepad, unlike with keyboard and mouse. I can't just dismount and glide. Hey there, stranger. I'm Yenna. Uh, in one moment, I'm gonna have to get back to you. Okay. Now! Mm, did you change your mind about helping us out here? I've got a document. Mm, let me see here. A document of transfer. So you must be with the guild. Interesting. I didn't realize. Okay. Well, uh, it's all here. Let me find the relic for you. Ellipsis. Here's the key. Boy, that is an old one. We found this when we first started out here. Really curious what the guild wants with this one. Thank you. I'm not a member of the guild, but she cannot know this. Oh, we're here. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll help you out. We're in search for an ancient chalice that old records show was last seen in this area. We found it lodged in an old storage journal. Logged. That makes a lot more sense. Uh, there may be some kind of hidden runes around the area. Yes, then we'll find your chalice. And I'm only doing that one, because this is an old quest, and I already know exactly where the chalice is. We're going to have to fight a lot of bandits. So let me just real quick heal up. This is the most effective way to do this. Anyone who says otherwise is probably lying to you. There we go, full health. 
Also, that is gotta be one of the least effective ways to get to full health. But it's how I do it. At least until I get smart. Woohoo! Oop, more stuff. I'm usually over encumbered. Never, never not be looting. Ooh, another mage's bag. I could use more moonberries. Okay, so there are enemies here. I want to drink this punch. I want to eat one of my clam chowders if I can find those in my pockets. There we go. I don't know if luck increases what you can get out of these things. Oh, look at that, a frost shard. That doesn't mean for sure that luck actually does have an effect. Yeah, so these bandits won't attack me. Because I'm not technically hostile to them yet. This guy is like, what are you doing here? And I'm like, just passing through. Well, this here's a toll road. Yeah, so I'll agree. I'll give him my 20 gold because I don't actually care. And I can just come in here. And loot the place. Whoops. I've already gotten significantly more than 20 gold. Torn diary page. Turns out the bandits weren't actually bandits after all. They were a group of guards who disbanded and were looking for their own company of adventurers. Blah, 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 blah. I think these are bandits. Anyway, I'm uh, robbing them blind at the moment. Whoop. And I've got the uh, chalice. And more treasure than I know what to do with. But also, even though I paid them, I'm about to uh, betray them, because that's what I do. Oh, this guy is giving me several chances to change my mind. Now he's hostile. Silver key? Hell yeah. That's why I drank that punch before I started my assault. That's just a bronze key, but getting two keys in a row is still exceptional luck. Did I just get a third fucking key? I did. Oh, and there's a silver chest right here. I didn't get anything good out of it, but it was a silver chest. Okay, there is one more. Two more guard, uh, not guards, bandits here. I suppose they were guards, according to that diary page I only read half of. And another silver key. Yeah, pirate punch is OP. Don't nerf. What was that? Oh, I think it was just targeting these crates through the wall. Company of adventurers. By uh, question marks, the company of adventurers, uh, adventurers promises to always uphold company laws. The company will always finish what it starts. The company will never abandon a fellow adventurer in need. The company will only steal from others when necessary and on Tuesdays. That's it. Well, it's Sunday right now, but I'm not in the company, so my stealing from them is fine. Let us go. Mm, yes, here's your stuff. Found your chalice. Nice, 20 gold and a uh, adventurer shirt, or archaeologist shirt. While I'm still under the influence of the pirate punch, I'm going to come over here and do some combat. Ow. Come on. Turn hostile. Buzz off. Oh, thank you for your shirt. Now I've got the hood and the mask. Or shirt. There is definitely a mask. But I think I dropped a hood despite wearing the mask. So I don't think the mask is something I can acquire. Are there only two bandits in here? Well, neither of them dropped a key. So that was a huge waste of time. Let's go uh, open up the frozen chest. At this point, I'm also curious as to what's in it. Okay, so we know how to open this shit. Let's go ahead and equip the fire staff. Don't know why that went into my left hand. Let's go ahead and just move this over because it's a lot more comfortable to use the right trigger. Ow. Let's go. Wow, the main shard is weaker than the uh, smaller one surrounding it. Come on. I'm going to guess it's ice magic. 
Which I can actually make an ice staff, so... If it's just an ice staff, I'm going to be a tiny bit disappointed. Come on. Thank you. One more. And then we have to find out who Irma is. Should be open now. Yes. Let's just break these smaller ones. If I don't find a use for these, I can sell them. But I can, like I said, make ice staves, which is a pretty good way to gain, uh, EXP. Huh. Novice wand? I don't have a wand yet. Why would that go to my left hand? I guess I've already got something equipped in my right. Oh, that charges fast. It's kind of annoying, like the sound it, sounds it makes. But, like, look how fast it charges compared to staves. I'm gonna guess it's weaker, though. Yeah, that recharges faster than even the slingshot. So I think I'm just going to use this as my new slingshot. I don't know why I picked that up. That's not what we're here to do. I suppose I'll get out of the here before I open my quest log. Let's see here. Quests. Irma's love. I found a shrine. I could tell Captain James or ask Irma for more information. I don't know who the hell Irma is. So do I tell Captain James? That seems like a bit of a dick move. I'll look around for Irma and then... If you can't find her, we're telling Captain James. He'll be creeped out by it. That's probably the worst option. Gotta be funny, though. I've got another character I've named Mieri, who I'm running a... Parallel to this one, sort of. Mieri doesn't have a spider, which is unfortunate. I can easily get her one. But she's just here to do the opposite of things I do. So if a quest branches, and some of them do... Whatever this character does, Miari will do the opposite. Also, my pirate punch is about to wear out. It's a good thing I've been, uh... I know that I'm wasting a lot of time just walking around, because I've been recording already for 50 minutes. Okay, we're back on dry land. Spider up, let's go! Mm, ow. Rude. I got caught on a rat. Okay, Irma, Irma. You're teak. You're sandy. That's three gold and another pearl. May you make your tavern. Your Mike, Mark, Mariel, Depp, Farlin. Arthas. Ooh, a kitchen I can use. Irma, Irma, Irma. If I was somebody named Irma, where would I be? Irma? No, that's Janet. Garp. The world according to Garp. Mayor Bill. That's the mayor's house, so I wonder why he's wandering so far from it. Okay, so real quick, let's check these docks. And then I'm just going to tell the captain and see what happens. Are you Irma? You're Roxy. Are you Irma? No, you're Madam Swan. Irma. That's Maggie. Old, I didn't actually read that guy's name. Uh, Penny. Finn's furnishing. Well, the person in here is probably named Finn, but let's double check. Yeah, that's Finn. I can't break the picture. That would have been funny. Are you Irma? No. What are you? Nothing. Wanted necromancer. I was looking for this. Uh, warning a moon elf who goes by the name Maxorf. Maxif. I don't know. Maxoff. That's a stupid name. Has been rumored to be lurking around Azora. We believe it is very dangerous. We believe he is very dangerous. So bounty hunters should approach with caution. See Sandy if you have any information on his whereabouts. Actually, I already know where he is. Are you Irma? Oh, this is actually Irma. Hello, dearie. I guess you heard I finally got some fabric in. That Cecil's such a good boy, always delivering the highest quality goods. 
So what are you looking for? A new hat, perhaps? A whole new outfit? I put new pieces out every single day. I found your shrine to James. Just open a conversation like that. My, uh, what? Oh, you silly jokester. Whatever could you be talking about? I read your love note. <laughs> that was private. <laughs> oh, okay, you got me. But please don't tell James. Mm, so why do you have a shrine? Because I love Captain James. And long ago, he loved me too. When we were both much, much younger, we were crewmates on the same ship, sailing the ocean blue. We fell deeply in love on our journey together, and I even gave him a beautiful bracelet to show my love. So what happened? One day we ran into an awful storm that battered our ship with huge waves. James, oh poor James, he was tossed, tossed overboard in all of the chaos. I grabbed his arm and as he fell, but all I got a hold of was the bracelet I had given him. I watched hopelessly as he fell into the sea, and I thought I would never see him again. What happened next? Well, not long after that, our ship hit another storm and we uh, was sunk by the powerful waves of the sea. I washed up here on the shore of a much younger Hope Harbor, and the ship ended up sunken off the coast of Azora. Then one day, out of the blue, James showed up. He was a captain now. Oh, I was so excited to see him again after I thought he had been lost forever to sea. Uh, why do, don't you tell James who you are? Oh, I've tried, but he doesn't remember me at all. I think he may have hit his head when he fell off our ship all those years ago. So I made that shrine. It's just a place I can go and gaze into his loving eyes without him thinking I'm some sort of weirdo. You're a tiny bit of a weirdo. Oh, James, my sweet James. I wish more than anything that you would remember me. Maybe I could help? I've tried just about everything to get him to remember. At this point, I think it might be a lost cause. What about the bracelet? After I lost James, I put his bracelet in a chest on the ship. But it was lost to the ocean long ago with the ship. I'm too old these days to go looking for it, but maybe you could get it for me. I've heard that... Er, uh, I've had that old bracelet... Bra oh, wait. For me. I've had that old bracelet. Maybe it would be jog as James's waterlogged memory. I need to learn how to read. Would you be willing to go to the... Uh, yeah, find it. Oh, thank you. Our ship sunk just off the shore near old Farmer Taylor's house. I've seen it a couple times. If nobody has stolen it, the chest will be there. As for the key, well, another survivor from the ship survived. I gave him the key for safekeeping. Charlie told me he wasn't leaving the shores until he had raised the old ship from the water. If he's still around, maybe you, could, uh, maybe you can find him near the shipwreck. Thanks. Well, I know where the ship is, and I know where the key is. I do not know who Charlie is. Which is kind of throwing a spanner into the mix here. Because I was hoping to just kind of figure this all out sh quickly. But you also how long it took me to find Charlie. Not Charlie, I need to find Charlie now. How long it took me to find Irma. Also, I might be stupid. Can't read, that's for sure. Fun game, though. It's actually very pretty on Epic Graphics. Are you Charlie? Lina. She used to have very funny dialogue and probably still does. Okay, so, this is the ship in question. Well, here's a shack. Also, I'm under attack. No, I didn't equip it. Uh, one moment, Boar. I want to try this out. Missed. 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 Oh. Well, critting for two is not ideal. But I also don't have high enough arcane to be using it, so... That's to be expected. Let me switch back to my scythe. Arcane skill unlocked. That's not even what I used to kill the enemy, but we're going to ignore that for a moment. Oh. This isn't a house I can get into, so Charlie's probably not in it. That cabin is empty. Uh, let me check one more place. Okay, so it took me embarrassingly long to get up here, but are you Charlie? You are Greta! Hmm... I'm out of ideas, then. Because that's definitely the right shipwreck. I don't suppose Charlie's the guy up in the watchtower. I don't want to leave this episode on a uh, whimper, so... Let's see if we can go out with a bang. I'm going to go check out who that is up in the watchtower. I like this game, but these camera angles can sometimes be a royal pain. 
You'll just get like a third up the ladder and then your character's like, oh, well, up is no longer up, so I'm going to stop moving. Are you Charlie? No, you are Hagen. I'm out of ideas. I didn't want to end this episode like this, but uh, I can't find Charlie's. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more. I will definitely be playing more of this. Probably just going to go splash some cold water on my face and then continue recording very shortly. So fizzity farewell. <laughs>